Malayang pa may pamamayag. Natural yan kasi ang information kailangan may palat at para malaman ng tao. Kasi kung wala yung communication, wala yung kaalaman, paano natin malalaman kung anong pangyayari? The Constitution is the safeguard of the people to enjoy the blessings of independence and democracy. Nanulunod sa pangangamba Puno ng baga Pasuko ka na Sang kakakapi Tumala rin na Ang sabi ay ate lang yan One of our problems when we organize back in Malapata is that when we assemble people um, some of the military men uniform men sabi niya siya kanina bakit kayo nag-assemble? at bakit may meeting dito? Freedom of speech is an essential component of a functioning democracy. It allows individuals to express their opinions, beliefs, and ideas without fear of persecution and censorship. Balance, balance, pila. Kung balance pila, pila ba kung tama ba na ilang literally? Di ko usay manggot ka ng hindi na bawal man po sa gobyerno kaya usahay ka ng mga opinion sa mga kung ang gano'n usahay dili na dili tama ba? As a democratic state, the exercise of freedom of speech and expression is an inherent element. Pag nawala yung freedom of speech and expression na yan sa Constitution, hindi natin pwedeng tawagin na tayo isang democratic on lipunan. Without freedom of speech, democracy cannot function effectively Citizens would not be able to express their opinions or ideas, and political debates would be stifled. Yung mga pinipisyo na tinatamasan natin ngayon, hindi yan libre. Hindi yan dahil gusto ng mga politiko. Bunga yan ng freedom of expression. Dahil nakikibaka yung mga liberal social movement, mga trade union around the country, at napwera sa yung gobyerno na gumawa ng mga batas. Censorship and oppression of dissenting voices could lead to authoritarianism and the concentration of power in the hands of few individuals or groups. Kita kay naata sa demokrasya, inang lang yun nga, free marketplace of ideas yun. Otherwise, wala yung mahimong venue by which nga makapadayag no, ang uh, mga susama namo ng mga media o ang katawahan in general. Pag may nag-violate ng limits ng freedom of speech, expression, press, and right to peaceably assemble, ang ginagawa ng ating kapulisan ay pinapatupad lang natin yung nakasaad sa batas. As long as comments and opinions towards someone, may it be a person, or an office or reasonable meaning hindi po ito libelous or slanderous. Freedom of speech and expression is not an absolute right. It can be limited in certain circumstances such as when speech imposes direct threat to public safety or incites violence. Additionally, hate speech and discriminatory languages is not protected under this freedom because it can contribute to the marginalization of certain groups and the oppression thereof. When people insinuate other things against other groups, I think government has a way of intervening. Kasi in many countries, ito yung nangyayari na meron ka mga massacres and other things because there were people that go beyond in the exercise of freedom of speech, like agitating other people. But in fact, they vary as to the modes of exercising them. Freedom of expression can be practiced through the use of the language, whether it is spoken, written, or through the use of symbolic representation. The Freedom of Expression Clause guarantees protection against both prior restraint 
and subsequent punishment, preventing undue government interference in people's right to express themselves freely. Importante po na ma-express yung opinion ng bawat isa para po, para po maintindihan po nila kung ano po yung side ng bawat isa. Press freedom is the right of journalists and media outlets to report and disseminate news and information without censorship or interference from the government or other powerful entities. It allows journalists to investigate and report on issues of public interest without fear of retribution or persecution. Ang maong uh, freedom, uh, in so far as kami nga uh, media people are concerned, diya na mo magamit isip, uh, karabit taong mga catalyst of change, no? uh, more of uh, kaning nami kahum ang uh, mag, uh, mag uh, raise pananitag uh, issues with respect to kanang uh, mga violations of law, Uga uban pa nga mga related issues. There are two elements of freedom of speech and expression. First is freedom from censorship. This pertains to the rights of individuals to express their views, opinions, or ideas without government censorship or other forms of suppression. Censorship can take different forms. That includes government censorship, restrictions on access of information, or limitations on artistic expression. In some cases, censorship can be justified when it is used for protecting public safety or national security. However, it is also used to limit or dispense dissent or limit free flow of information. In the case of demonstrations and rallies, there are certain regulations that allows it. Provided na may permit at nasa right venue like plaza, freedom park, and so on, as stated in Rule 25 of the PNP Handbook. And if the demonstrators become unruly and violent, the CTM will disperse them with maximum tolerance. We wanted to create like a, we wanted to empower you to part, politically participate. Um, we asked for permission at their local book. Uh, one of their book, Agawa, that was signed our permit, um, asked us what we were going to do. And when she heard Centro, well, she, she told me that she, when she was explicitly um, instructed not to allow progressive organizations to organize in the primary event. We're having demonstrations and rallies. The main challenge that is usually observed is the violence in the part of the demonstrators. In the instant that one of them endured our law enforcers on duty, we apprehend them for direct assault. Bahagi ng fundamental principle kasi ng good governance ay participation. And participation cannot be done without the exercise of freedom of speech no? and freedom of expression. To determine the liability of an individual for an idea expressed by him, three criteria are applied, namely the clear and present danger rule, the dangerous tendency doctrine, and the balance of interest test. Clear and present danger rule pertains to whether the words are used in circumstances of such nature that it will create serious wrongdoing that the state has the right to prevent. On the other hand, dangerous tendency doctrine holds that speech or expression has the tendency to cause harm even if it has not yet caused actual harm, may be restricted or punished. Lastly, the balance of interest rule applies 
when a certain behavior is thrown in the name of maintaining public order. And this regulation leads to indirect, conditional, or partial infringement of speech. The court's responsibility is to decide which of the two opposing interests deserves more protection under specific circumstances. Again, it goes back to the very essence of democracy of we the people. No accounting government for that. And, of course, uh, it protects everybody, including government. Because in the freedom of speech, people can speak for and in behalf of their government to defend their government. The right to assembly and petition. It is a fundamental right guaranteed under many constitutions and international human rights laws or instruments. It guarantees the freedom of an individual to come together as well as make demands from their government and other authorities. Uh, one fundamental duty ng Estado ng gobyerno is promote yung human rights na sa Constitution. So, ang problema hindi nila ginagawa yung na-umit yung nagawa ang duty niya. Kaya napilitan yung mga mga ordinary mga mayan Unfortunately, exercising this right can lead to conflicts. For example, peaceful protests and demonstrations can become violent, leading to clashes with police or counter protesters. In some cases, authorities may respond with excessive force or even arrest participants, leading to accusations of human rights violations. For us, we should be vigilant as well in the exercise of our freedom. We must use social media only as a channel of communication and only as that. Limit lang po. Hindi lang siya. Okay lang man na mag-limit ang ano, pero na, ang tao ang dapat ang mag-disiplina. Uh, as long as we are in our profession, we are in the industry, padayan nila siya. Na dapat i-respeto yan. These rights empower the people by providing an avenue to speak up and to be heard. These rights shape not just the present but also the future. Although not absolute, these rights cannot be curtailed without just cause or due process. Hence, it is incumbent upon us to know our rights and to be free from silence. Speak up! Speak now! Your voice matters!